Yeah. Let's see. So the best two out of three, though. Meaning, uh, yeah, this is to get into the top eight winner side. Gonna have to adapt really quick. So you only have the max of three games to figure out your opponent. Correct the moon down. Oh, yeah. nice. I was such a good setup already, like 70%. Nice, and Yoshi does have some really, I don't know about you, man, but Yoshi's shield is one of the hardest eggs to crack, and definitely just holding shield over the bomb is a really smart opportunity for J-Mafia to understand, like, hey, I don't want to give up this positioning on the ledge, let me hold bomb, and then go for an out-of-shield punish if Alan just tries to overextend us a little bit too much. Oh, great spot dodge from Alan to get past the command grab attempt from J-Mafia. Yeah, using the direction but of air dodge to go avoid the Nikita. Oh, there it is again. He's gonna go wait for the crap please. No, he didn't air dodge immediately too. That was actually a smart recovery. Oh, but it doesn't matter. That forward air doesn't even need the spike. It's just so strong. Even without that. Double jump armor actually coming in clutch. He's gonna go for the up to here. Oh nope. no, yeah, not true here. He will be able to just get up attack afterwards. Yeah, I think around 130 it's true. I can't remember. It's like different for a lot of characters. Yeah, it, it, I think it's weight dependent and character dependent at times too. From what I've noticed. I'm talking about the down throw too, by the way. Oh. Nice setup. Oh, man. Uh, I love down throw forward air. Because if you time the forward air, you jump over their get up attack after you down throw them, and then you can just get a spike. Like, yeah. Very, very good stuff for Snake. But yeah, J Mafia, he doesn't really let Alan just get momentum for that Ooh. long. He just immediately fights back with a lot of these great combos. Uh, missed that egg lane to the forward air, but the idea was definitely there. Yep, tech chase. Nice. Mm -hmm. A lot of people instinctively roll away from the grenade when you get down thrown like that. So really good stuff for Alan just to see that and turn it into a kill as well. You never want to be in this position against a snake. Uh, <laughs> down and uh, trying to be forced to approach because if you start trading, yeah, it'll be very bad. But J Mafia doesn't let that happen. Snake's in the up air only taking 11% and uh, yeah, this is very, very good match <laughs> can go either way okay holding the gray gets a huge d drop too yeah j mob is definitely experienced in this match but as you can tell he doesn't really uh seem to be falling into that many grenade traps not no, trading as often either oh, oh double, double jump, jump armor, armor get past the downer nice stuff how it was like such a it's one of those things that yoshi does have just a little bit over to get on snake when he tries to come for a recovery here, able to actually roll away. No neutral air for him. Alan Des looking for an opportunity here nope. to get a winning chance here. He does have even stocks. Careful. I was going to say careful there because, yeah, I was going to say Alan. Oh. J-Moff has been really good at trying to punish oh. Alan Des after the egg. So he can try to go for like forward air, neutral air, but hasn't gotten the opportunity. I like the oh. opportunity here that he does go nice. for the empty hop to avoid the get up attack and try to get Up so it's coming. Yeah. Close, close. Yeah. J-Moff is playing smart. Okay. Oh, no, I'm oh. smash out shield, but there it is. Caught the that jump. Was, that was so smart, too, because he caught the jump simply knowing that, you know what, what's... Alan Disc had run himself towards the ledge, that it was smart enough for him to chase him. The only other option that Alan was going to go for is a jump, and he called that out. Because Alan Disc sacrificed a lot of stage control there just to get away from him. Yep. Great match, great match. Both players played very well, but j Mafia is going to clutch it out with that up smash read. Something though, even though Alan just lost, uh, I do like how smart he was about dealing with the egg lay, the neutral B. Like, he wouldn't immediately mash out because if he did, J Mafia would always be there with the forward air. So he would always delay it as long as possible, save his jump as well, and uh, just get back to the ledge safely. But, yeah, even, even in spite of all those smart recoveries, yeah, J Mafia is still finding the W there. So let's see, let's see what Alan Dis is going to do on his counter pick. Still best two out of three. Honestly, man, I don't even know what to tell him to like do better this game because he still played very well. It just came down to like one miss like play at the end. Yeah. That's kind of like one of those things I try to uh, keep people in mind of like when you play the game, not only understanding that it is a platform fighter, but understand stage control neutral things like that will help you understand how to make better choice options especially when certain matchups because like i said alan dis was doing pretty fine until the very end where he did sacrifice a lot of stage control to try to get a read on him and unfortunately it just didn't pay off that well 
Okay, so he's using the pick Kalos here. Just go work with the uh, really big stage. Kind of get as much space between him and Yoshi as possible. Uh, not bad Snake Stage by any means, but I actually think Yoshi's not bad here either. The platforms can actually help him a lot if he chooses to play like the egg lay game. Yeah. And it definitely helps his recovery as well. Not to mention he's not the lightest character either, so a bigger stage could definitely help him live a little bit longer. But yeah. I think here, like, yeah, Alan Dis is trusting his ability to, you know, use the stage much more effectively than Yoshi. And so far, it's so good. I really like his uh, grenade traps he's going for. Oh but no! That that air dodge got caught. Yeah, so far Jay Mafia oh. looking to be on the winning end here. It's the nice command grab again. Yep, I guess it's really good too because he goes for an opportunity where after the egg, so he's trying to punish him. Second attempt on the pound though, and it will definitely pay off here. Taking the stuff from Alan this and the lead Jay Mafia is starting off really strong here in game two. Already still having the first point of war, like you said, strides. It is a best of three here. So this is Alan this is last chance opportunity to move on from bracket. And winner's side at least. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely want to make it into like the best of five territory, at least in uh in winners preferably, but lose would be nice too, but still, yeah, like really good for him if he's able to, you know, at least bring this to game three. Oh, Okay. Oh, barely missed the C4 off the platform. So far though, yeah, Alan is still keeping this really close. As you can see right now, though, J-Mafia hanging back using the project projectiles in uh, tandem with the platform. Very good for Yoshi. He yeah. also has really good aerial mobility too, so he can actually move around this stage really fast, even though it's so big. I think that helps him out a lot in this matchup right now. Going to go high. Nice and delaying his air dodge when he gets to the ground at the very last second. It's really important when you're uh, trying to land with Snake. Yeah. Oh. He's holding on. Oh, I thought he had the grenade still, but never mind. Trying nice. to get the down throw. Ooh. Nice. Nice. That was really good. j has actually been mixing up his options after getting down throw by Snake almost every time. Yeah. That's good for Alan just to understand how Jay Muffer came strong back on the stage. He set up Ooh. an actual egg to force him to still hold shield so that he could come up here with a nair and cross him up or either shield poke. And then Alan just did not let that happen at all. So it's good for Alan to slowly understand the matchup. Now it's even stocks here. And it's good for Alan, like I said, to slowly begin to pick apart Jay Muffer's plan and then bring that to his position here because oh he tries to go for another nair and two dash attacks. Literally oh puts God. Alan Dis in the lead. The Nikita to call out the command oh grab here and look at this lead that he has built for himself yeah j mafia is getting kind of lazy with his landings like he's just getting dash attacked every time he tries to jump and touch the ground uh just seeing these openings and he's just he's capitalizing heavily yeah. okay nikita here okay yeah yeah, yeah. nowhere yeah. nowhere left to go but down man and that'll be going up for alan disc as he puts one point on the board and ties things up between him and j mafia what a, what a strong understanding, man. Like I said, like there were times where I could see Alan Dish just overextending himself from the ledge. And then, I'm sorry, Jay, Ma uh, Jay Mafia literally overextending himself from the ledge. And then Alan had a really good understanding of that. Like I said, he wants to, me to hold shield with egg. So you're crossing me out, do this there, and then go off from here and there. It's like, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to nip this plan in the bud. Because you know what? He's giving up so much just to go for a big aerial. That's a lot of commitment. And all I have to do is just read it. Yeah. Yeah, that SD was very unfortunate, but um, Alan also just put J Mafia in a lot of very bad spots to kind of like force him into that position where he could potentially SD there. So yeah, that was just a really, really well played from Alan. Especially the dash attacks at the end. Uh, I think once J Mafia was getting punished so much for jumping, he kind of uh, got shook a little bit. But he's running it back to Kalos, the salty run back. Yeah, <laughs> salty run back indeed. Yeah, I, I don't blame him though, because he uh, wasn't doing horrible on this stage, and I still think it's a great Yoshi stage too. All right, once again, Alan playing the neutral trapper as he does, setting up opportunities here. He does force Jay Marfa to let go of the stage, giving Alan a lot of stage control. What a reversal with the back air forward Ooh. to kind of stop him here off the tracks. 
Oh. I never forget Cypher is good off the deep end. Yep. Gonna have to be careful on the landing here. Okay. Nice use of the platform for Allen. Oh, oh, and the double jump armor. Oh, oh the punish on the air dodge. Damn, that was beautiful. But oh, the yeah, tech. That was, smart. that was smart. That was smart too, because he held in so he can actually tech on the wall. And that's really smart in the stages like Kalos. Trying to hold your DI inward towards the stage oh. just so you can get that tech. But Jay Mafia will finally get the stock off of him. He says, you know what? Whatever lead you had planned, I want to make sure things go even like the last time. Up until yeah, the very great, end. Great stuff, Jay Mafia, because that could have easily swung very heavily in Alan Dis's favor, especially with like all the techs he was getting. Now we have even game here. Nice, now, now out of shield. No strong follow-up here, but I do like the fact that Jay Mafia also understands, okay, if there's no follow-up here, let me read how his reacts. Because usually some opponents might be trying to go for a preemptive tech, and you can probably get a follow-up there or a tech chase. Which is that, that's what it is here. Like I said, looking for the tech chase here after the Nair. There's the egg, preemptive forward air. Oh. I like that because he knows the first thing Alan might do is to quickly try to mash out. Nope, he's not. Oh, no. oh but he buffered air dodge. Oh, that's terrible for Alan. I mean, Snake can definitely bring this back still, but J Mafia, he, if he's playing smart like I think he is, he's not going to let that free stock go to waste at all. Oh, definitely. Like you said, he can bring it back, but it's looking like an after-school class if you want to bring it back with extra credit and already done for J-Mafia here. It's a lot to do, man, but we'll see, man. I'm not going to put it out for Alan Disc because he did have the comeback last time. And like you said, Strike, Bye. you know what? I'll stay after school if it means I can definitely bring the comeback. That was an insane forward air. Two forward air spikes already for Alan Disc in this, this match alone. Great use of the platform to just chase Yoshi in such a crazy spot. Like, I haven't seen a snake do that like that anyway. So now we're down to the last stock potentially for both these players in their winner's bracket life. Oh. Alan getting some really good damage right now. Again, getting these dash attacks on Yoshi's double jump landing. But there's the command grab again. Rack up the percent. Yeah, oh, and it's good too because Game Mafia looks for the percent in the command grab. If he doesn't look for it, he also looks up for a mash out. And it's really smart for him to see what he can sneak in a little bit of extra percent or just read the mash out. Okay, Alan looking once again, trying to hold center stage. He's got a lot of traps going on here. He does have the grenade. It's kind of sucks J Moff a little bit of his tracks. Gets the back throw oh. here. No, sets up down the down throw. throw oh, the nice. Wall. I do love that jump after the down throw. It covers so many options. Yeah. And now, scary situation though for both players. J Moff oh, trying to get something to work, but no. that. Okay, good DI, oh, good no, DI. we're living. Good DI. The C4 gets dodged as well. Now they're both in position where I think the next big hit from either of them will get the stock, even on this stage. Yeah, and you can, like you said, right, the next big hit is where it counts the most here. Alan Dis is making sure, you know, look at that commitment from Jay Mafia. He can seize it so much that Jay Mafia... Oh, the command grab. Up. Yep, and the command oh, grab... Oh, but he jumps enough. over him. Yeah, he's playing so smart around that. The dash tag not going to be enough to kill. Good up till it's on the table very soon. All right. He's playing around the grenade. Nope. Oh, but he's stuck in the Nair in time. Yeah, really I deep know. off stage. Gets to the ledge safely. Dash attack, oh, Nikita man. play here, and he Oh, but the Nikita dodge. caught the air dodge. Oh, man. Allen is taking that 2-1 over Jay Mafia. He took that forward air stock that he got on the second stock to bring it to, you know, even. He just took that and ran with it. 